In Brattleboro, state agencies toured mobile home parks to discuss infrastructure improvements. NBC5's John Hawk spoke with leaders about the changes they hope to see. The Agency of Natural Resources, hoping to improve water infrastructure in manufactured housing communities, also known as mobile home parks. We are taking advantage of unprecedented federal funding to work with manufactured housing communities across the state um, to make those kinds of investments in drinking water, wastewater, and drainage infrastructure. The agency's Healthy Homes program has almost $25 million in federal money available from the American Rescue Plan to fix water infrastructure issues related to drinking water, wastewater, stormwater, and drainage systems in mobile home parks. And we have haven't had a lot of investments in them. They've really been left on their own to sort of meet the needs and, and, and demands, and this is a time for the state and the federal government to step up and help these communities. In Brattleboro at Glen Park, homes are in the floodplain. There's a bridge failing, and the sewage system is at the end of its life. It's important because um, if the sewer system fails, um, the park would have to be evacuated, and there'd be no more Glen Park. A few of Glen Park's infrastructure projects have been approved. And the same is true for communities around the state. Officials say this money will benefit over 400 Vermonters, including children and seniors. Hanford thinks this investment will help in the housing shortage. The fact is, you know, we, we do have housing crisis in Vermont, uh, haven't been building enough homes for, for decades, and we need to reverse that. But the last thing we can afford to do is, is lose housing stock, especially affordable housing. Grants can be awarded to for-profit, non-profit, and cooperatively owned housing communities. We've been supporting communities with technical assistance, but to be able to bring real dollars to bear to help implement some of these important projects is just, it, it's a gift. An additional $10 million will soon be available for Vermonters who have a failed septic system or well. In Brattleboro, John Hawks, NBC5 News. This